All right, it is 3.30 and I'll call the Joint Review Board to order. For those in attendance, would you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, is there a motion to approve the minutes from June? There's a motion and second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Anyone? Chair votes aye, minutes are approved. Um, consideration and appointment and or re reaffirmation of joint board review public member. Well, the public member is not here. Um, the, the public member is actually Roberta Flicky Pineski. Um, so we just need to reaffirm her even though she's not here. Is there a motion? I would so move. Second. Motion second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. Thanks for reaffirming her. I will let her know. Uh, reaffirmation or election of the vice chair. Everyone cool with keeping me? I would so move. Second. All right. No, that's the one we're doing right now. Oh, you said oh, vice chair. Oh, sorry. I meant chair. Okay, sorry. sorry. We, we all moved to mayor. Yeah, okay, there you <laughs> go. That's what I was thinking. The words just came out different. All right, all those in, all those in favor, please state aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. Thank you. Reaffirmation or election of the vice chair? I think the vice chair was Roger before. I know it's a lot of work, Roger. And, um, <laughs> Would you be willing to continue on? Yeah, yes, I'll take that uh, big responsibility. <laughs> All right, thank I'll you. Motion. All right. Second. Motion second. All those in favor? Aye. Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. That's approved. 3.4, discussion responsibilities of the Joint Review Board. So most of you know what this is, but this is related to approving and disapproving of TID amendments and TID creations. I know a number of you sit on other communities, joint review boards, but it's really tied to tax incremental financing districts and the stuff related to that. So I'd be happy to answer any questions, but I'll keep it short because you guys are very familiar. Any additional questions for Chad? All right, 3.5 discussion and review of subtraction amendment to the plan project for the tax incremental district 18. So if I handed out a map to everybody in the uh, attendance and I would, I would refer to the spec of the map that I handed you that has a green and a red line. So um, the, the, let me just say the front of the map shows the TIF district boundaries for tax incremental 18, which was created back in 2018 for the city to expand our business park known as South Point Enterprise Campus. This district also includes part of a subdivision on the east side of South Business Drive um, that Bob Warner and Stonebrook Crossing subdivision is being developed as we speak. And then it goes up north and it includes some parcels in our current business center um, through a little leg to the west, to the east of South Business Drive. If you look at the map on the second page, it kind of um, divides in and the, the challenge we have is the real property lister as well as the city assessor's office has contacted us to tell us that there's uh, three parcels that are split um, between being in the TID and being out of the TID. So if you look at the map, the green boundary is the previous line that followed a parcel line, two parcel lines in that subdivision. And then when they came forward and platted out the subdivision, it split those parcels that are grayed out those uh, six parcels. So what we're proposing here is just to subtract those. So the area in the red on the north side is the TID boundaries. Everything in the south side of that area is out of the TID. So we would just take these three, these six parcels and subtract them out of the TID and redo the boundary to follow the red line. Um, that's shown on here and then those parcels would not be split because the real property lister can't have a house that's partially in the TID and partially out of the TID to try to make it work on their end. 
So the easiest thing for us to do was to amend the district by taking uh, those six parcels out. So that's what we're here to discuss. There's no value on those uh, parcels because they're just building the subdivision, um, but going forward, it'll make it easier for everyone. Questions? I know, I, I guess a, a question I had. So what, what's the thinking and you know, this for me just kind of as a curiosity question. So what's the thinking between taking them out instead of just wrapping them in? Um, because we're gonna have some challenges when they move forward in phase two because it's unplatted yeah. in this area as well. Okay. Um, and it's, easy, it's an easier process to do the subtraction than it is to do the, to do the addition. Okay. Um, so we just thought that it was beneficial to, it's beneficial to all the taxing jurisdictions because we'll get property taxes off of these parcels right away versus having to wait 20 years till the TID closes. All right, very good point. Additional questions? Ron? Uh, I, I know that you can put a certain amount of residential lots in TIF districts now, but in general, that's good not to have them in the TID district anyways, correct? That is correct. I think in, in, in an industrial TID, you can have up to 35% of the land area in residential. Yeah. Um, by taking it out, we don't have to get into that whole calculation either to make sure that yeah. we're not exceeding that. So that's why we're just going the route of removing them. Thank you. Additional comments, feedback? Any motions? So if, if I can just say sure. further comments. So we we thought that we, I appreciate you guys being able to come in and, and deal with this. We had thought we had until the end of the year to do this and then the Department of Revenue called us and told us that it's actually um, needed to be approved by the end of September. So that's why, and that was at the end of August. So we're scrambling to get this done, but we appreciate the support of it and it'll go to the Planning Commission at four o'clock tonight and to the council on Monday and we'll meet the timeline for amending it and the awesome. real property lister will be happy. Thanks Chad for your work and your department on it too and Janet, I bet you were helping out on this as some, some part <laughs> too, so <laughs> thank you. Additional comments, questions, motions? I'll make a motion to approve. All right, is there a second? Motion and second, any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed, chair votes aye, that is approved. Next meeting, TBD. The, so the next meeting, pro, so the council will adopt the resolution on Monday and then we'll probably, we don't have to have the joint review board meeting um, by the end of the month, um, but we'll be getting in contact with the th uh, four of you in the next couple days to line up the next one because you'll have to come back and consent to the resolution that the council approves. Who made that rule? <laughs> Your legislatures. Uh, <laughs> all right, all those in favor, please. Oh, never mind. we already did that, all right. Um, motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Motion second, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed, chair votes aye. We're adjourned at 338. <laughs>